The tit-for-tat airstrikes between the Israeli Defense Forces and the Iranian army has reached new heights. Despite calls for moderation by G7 leaders and the understatements from each party regarding the severity of the attacks, it appears that Iran and Israel have shifted from a proxy war to direct confrontation in their respective territories. Potential for Iran to break out into becoming a nuclear weapon state is now fully back in the picture, uh, not least because the sequence of events we've had over the last months makes clear that there would be tremendous dangers involved with those kinds of proxy attacks, terrorist attacks, uh, other sorts of conflict taking place under a nuclear umbrella. The latest escalation follows explosions in Iran's Isfahan area, which targeted a military base, the Zardanjan facility, which is one of the most important sites of the Iranian nuclear program, is also based there, but allegedly suffered no damage. Several countries have voiced concerns about Iran's nuclear intentions. Some in the region provided aid to Israel when it was attacked by Iranian drones. It's in part solidarity for, with Israel, and that's certainly true for the United States, I think, uh, but also perhaps a desire to give Israel uh, the confidence that it will have that support and therefore perhaps be less inclined uh, to pursue its own escalation in the region. The attacks have enabled both countries' air defense systems to be tested. Both Israel and Iran have anti-missiles and air defense shields, protecting strategic objectives in case of a massive military attack.